last night <laughs> but it rained all over everything and that's totally my bad <sighs> so that's the last of what I have to clean up today and get that area over there looking a little bit better and then that's done remember I still have two weekends to finish this I have to get the Sun umbrella out Dougie's coming so he can help me with that I have to get that cleaned up, <laughs> get the screen back on the window, and then we're done. Oh no, we're going to clean the steps, we're going to power wash that, we're going to power wash the rest of the siding there, and uh, my gosh, what a lot of waste. <laughs> and then we go out front for the rest of the day. But as usual, let's start with a coffee. Now I can't remember who it was that asked me to show them what it looked like when this white rose bush came out in bloom. Um, but here you go. This is what it looks like. Isn't it pretty? Now the the actual buds don't stay like um, uh, what do you call it? Compacted for very long. They end up like this for most of the time, but uh, so if you are happy with that, I've looked everywhere for a name. Uh, it has, as you can probably see, quite a vicious uh, thorn to it. So you have to really like gardening. <laughs> Let me show you here. You have to really like gardening to uh, want to prune it and do things like that. But look at the buds that we have coming up here by next week. They'll be beautiful. I'm just hoping that it won't all be gone by the time my brother arrives. And then this rose bush, um, I've got two of them, this one and this one behind me, um, that have these beautiful, really beautiful, stunning color flowers. Unfortunately, <laughs> they sort of come and go very quickly. And then you have to wait a while for the next slot, but it's worth it as far as I'm concerned. Well, everybody, that's looking a whole lot better, isn't it? You can tell Dougie's here. He's a clean-up clean expert in my life. He just gets to it and does it. Just brilliant. Okay, so that's looking much better. We've got half the deck uh, siding clean there. Dougie's going to do a bit more of that with the power washer. Uh, while I'm uh, broadcasting and then this is beginning to look like home again Any minute now I'll be putting the cushions out again good However <laughs> My kitchen is not looking quite so clean <laughs> But that's okay. It's just dirt. We can clean this up later and it will be just fine I told everybody not to worry about it. Hi Bean Bean. How are we feeling this morning Bean? Okay, he don't want to talk to us this morning. He doesn't know where to go because he wants to follow Dougie. But then he also wants to be with Mummy, so he's very confused. But very alert, as you can see. Oh, the noise you hear is Dougie down there. Busy power washing. How's it going, Dougie? Trying to get some of the crud off the trailer, ready for the big trip. It's going to be quite a job. You'll see Dougie later. Well, everybody, just wanted to let you know that um, I've just come off doing the broadcast and everybody's been working their hearts out while I've been doing that. So I thought I'd take you on a little tour. <laughs> We've been cleaning up my uh, back garden here. 
at the side of the house. And as you can see, the rhododendrons are out. And this is a, a rose bush that's about to flower. And these are the hostas. Somebody asked me if I had hostas in my garden. Yes, I do. And we've got a little bit of everything in this bit of the garden. So now I'm just going to walk this way. Um, we've got, we've got, there's Wade. Hi. Say hi to the peeps, Wade. Hello. <laughs> Bonnie, you're about to go on camera. <laughs> so Bonnie, oh, this is, this is some of the work that I started earlier this morning. Bonnie's been doing the back breaking work of doing Online. So, absolutely brilliant job there. I really nice. Pretended Thank you. Pretended in here and didn't let my perfectionism get in the road. You didn't let your perfectionism get in the road. Thank you so much, Bonnie. Like I was telling everybody how terrible it felt to be sitting up there broadcasting while everybody else was working their hearts out. And then, for all of you who know Dougie, say hi to the peeps, Doug. Hi. <laughs> and he is doing the back-breaking work of getting the grass out of the... And making it look easy. And making it look easy, <laughs> right. As only Doug would. And he also did the uh, power washing of the trailer that looks sparkly clean. Thank you so much, Doug. You're welcome. Looks awesome. Now, of course, when I do this to my trailer, it ends up looking... We have some new gutters, too. Oh, and clean gutters. Oh, I don't want to do too much of that. All right. I'm trying not to put my house number or my car number plate up. <laughs> this, this is very difficult stuff to do. All right. But thank you all so much. I really, really, really appreciate it. Hello, Adam. Good job. You know Dougie, and I'm going to just zoom in on him here. So Dougie just told us, and we didn't know this, um, which run did you do, Doug? The sun run? Okay, and it's a 10k? Yes. Why did you enter it, Doug? I have no idea. <laughs> because people at work were going? Got suckered. Yeah. It was a group, group, a team, a team thing. Okay. And they needed one extra so they could get a discount? Yeah, we needed, yeah, we, had, we uh -huh. needed a group discount. So. Uh, did I understand you correctly that um, you <laughs> didn't train at all to go into this 10k run? Bad idea. Always train. Okay, so, and then you got up on the day of the run, and you put on your runners. These runners? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you put on your bib, and off you went. Pretty much, that, that's how you went, yeah. Mm -hmm. And there were, how many people in the group, 10? Group 10, but there was 45,000 people in the run. Yeah, 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 but of your group, there were 10 people. How many of them trained to actually do this event? Pretty much, most of them. Nine? Right. Um, <laughs> and uh, in terms of the finish line, um, where did you end up, Doug? The of the ten of you. Well, they go by the estimate. Well, finish time. So an hour. An hour. Three. Uh, the ten of you that took part. Were you third, the? I think. You were third, without any training. <laughs> Have you thought about maybe doing this for a career, Doug? No, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> but you're saying at about eight, kilo eight kilometers, you suddenly thought, why didn't I train for this? When somebody collapsed in front of me. When somebody when collapsed having a seizure in front of you. Yeah. That was the first time you thought maybe that would have been a good idea. To go for training, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the question <laughs> begs... <laughs> <laughs> Dougie, the question begs to be asked, would you do it again? I, if I train, yes. <laughs> So you would consider going in for the sun run again? Yeah. That is it was fun. So what do. about it can possibly be fun? <laughs> other than heaving your lungs out. I mean, tell me what is fun about doing it. Well, we're running with 45,000 people. It's pretty fun, actually. Didn't you get pushed and shoved all over the place? No. Uh, no. A, bit, a little bit. He was here. They were back here. All right, you were ahead of the pack. <laughs> yeah, well, it <laughs> yeah, I guess if they're all behind you, it's not too bad. I think that's, I'm so proud of you, really. That is just amazing. Yes. 10K out of the box, no training whatsoever. You didn't pull a hamstring. No, no medical. I think absolutely no. wonderful. Doug, we're proud of you, <laughs> yes. really.
but three. <laughs> <laughs> but for everybody else, they should train. Only for Kenyans can they get away with this, right? <laughs> they, they got it in their jeans or something. Were you wearing your jeans or did you actually have shorts or something? No, I had shorts. Okay. Shorts. You did have shorts? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> did you have a water bottle or anything? No, I mean, no water bottle. <laughs> So you just go for a 10k ride? Not water ball. <laughs> I was joking when I said so that. Did they have little cups along the way that they had? They, in yeah, okay. they had uh, water stations. Uh huh. Did you take any um, water on board? A little bit, of course, yeah. But. And you, you did it in one hour and three minutes? Yes. 10k? Yes. Without any training? No, <laughs> no training at all. <sighs> oh my god.